Hey, Dave here, and it is Youth Wednesday. The only announcement I have for tonight is middle school youth group via Zoom from 6.30 to 7.30. We'll have an hour of uh, fun, checking in, and learning uh, about God's love, and uh, hope to see you guys online later on. A couple weeks ago, uh, I told a story to the middle schoolers um, that a boy was at the dining room table and he was working very feverishly. Um, he had this large sheet of paper and some crayons and over to the side, his dad reading a book noticed that he was doing something that was very important to him. So he watched for a minute. He uh, asked the boy, son, you know, what are you doing? And the boy stopped and looked at his dad and said, I am drawing a picture of God. And the dad said, well, that's going to be hard to do because no one has really seen God. And the boy stopped for a minute and he thought, and he said, well, Dad, when I'm done, everybody will know what he looks like. So I love this boy's moxie, right? He wanted everyone to know what God looked like. Ultimately, the dad, you know, was correct that no one has really seen God. But maybe, maybe Moses, um, but, but no one really has seen him. But there is a way to mirror God so others can see what God looks like. You know, first of all, Jesus has already mirrored what God looks like. In return, we can mirror the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, and the faithfulness and the self-control. We can also mirror the compassion that we read about Jesus having. We can show others these fruits of the Spirit through our actions towards others. And also, you know, our children here at St. Mark's School has actually drawn us some pictures on how God may look like and how they feel God would look like. They did this in Christian education in Mrs. Knowles' classes. Here are a few, and all of them are attached to the description below. So you can view them all if you want. So I want to encourage you and me uh, during this time more than ever to show others what God looks like through our actions. Remember, LGLO hashtag, love God, love others, and the hashtag comes last because nothing else should come before that. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.